Does anyone see the enemy aircraft? It's the 8th of May, 1942. It's clear. Nothing except clouds. Over. High in the sky, off the coast of Papua New Guinea, eight SBD-3 Dauntless dive bombers scan the sky in search of a suspected attack from Nakajima B-5N2 Kate torpedo bombers. Lieutenant, do you see anything from your side? It's clear. Over. In the American formation, pilot Lieutenant Stanley Vetusa looks over his shoulder and spots very different beasts. Nine lethal and deadly A6M zeros. Okay, gentlemen, this is it. Let's go. He plunges his Dauntless into a dive as pandemonium breaks out behind him. Zero is coming in from behind. We're hit. Looking back, he sees three of his peers engulfed in flames and the rest are about to be next. He pushes on, but despite making the distance, he knows they haven't escaped. His Dauntless is extremely outclassed in terms of speed, maneuverability, and firepower. Sweet! A zero is turning towards us! Confirmed! Hold on! Out of options, Vetusa turns his Dauntless to face the enemy head on. In this moment, he gets an idea. The two aircraft face each other down, coming closer and closer. In the Dauntless, Vetusa pulls on the trigger early, firing a burst of 50 caliber bullets in a Hail Mary attack. The Japanese pilot fires back, a volley of deadly 20 mm shells streaks across the sky, aimed at the nose of the Dauntless. But they narrowly zip past to the right of Vetusa's cockpit. Vetusa has evaded them. He's banking slightly to the left, keeping the nose pointing at the enemy, even as they turn, drifting across the air. The Zero roars past, missing every round. Come on, Frank! He's all yours! Vetus's rear gunner opens fire, letting out a burst before the Zero manages to escape from his arc of fire. In the cockpit, Vetus is shot. It worked. This time. In the distance, the enemy turns back for another run. Second Zero is coming in from behind! And then, a third Zero appears up ahead. The already impossible matchup getting even worse. Vetus's mind is racing. He has worse guns, worse speed, worse maneuverability, and no backup. Then he gets another idea. Take a deep breath, Frank. We're about to pull some G's. He engages the air brakes, slowing right down to a crawl. Vetusa knows that speed is essential in dogfighting. The first enemy approaches straight on. Vetusa opens fire, but his prayers go unanswered. The Japanese aviator unleashes his 20mm cannons, sending a volley of deadly shells flying for the American bomber. Simultaneously, Vetusa pulls his aircraft hard to the left. The two crew are crushed into their seats, the Dauntless reaching an incredible 10 Gs, disappearing from the Zero's crosshair in the nick of time. The enemy flies past. Do the same move as before, I'll try to get him. Vetusa spots an opportunity. He continues with his turn, the seconds feeling eternal as his blood rushes down to his feet. The twin 50 caliber machine guns rip with fury, striking the enemy from behind. The Japanese pilot is taken completely by surprise and his tail is peppered with lead. The bullets punch clean through the fuselage and a plume of black smoke pours out of the fighter, forcing the enemy to turn for Zero home. Is down. Vetusa and his gunner don't have any time to celebrate before the first Zero comes back, guns ablaze. 7.7mm fire pings and crackles into the fuselage as Vetusa dodges to the side and the Japanese fighter roars past. He hardly gets the time to breathe before the third Zero bursts into the scene from above, unleashing a full volley at the lone dive bomber. Vetusa flies his Dauntless perfectly under the Zero coaxing the Japanese pilot into a full vertical dive. But the enemy pilot isn't a fool. He knows such a thing could make his wings rip from excessive speed, and he pulls off the attack. But they're far from done. Both Zeros make a wide turn and line back up on the slow, lumbering bomber. With the enemies rapidly approaching, Vetusa once more sends his machine into a series of punishing turns pulling excessive G-forces over and over. Disoriented, Vetusa checks his plane. Is it leaning left or to the right? He checks the control. 
If you're not sure whether the information you're receiving is leaning left or right, then today's sponsor, Ground News, will let you know. It gathers related articles from across the world in one place with context about the reporting source's political leaning, reliability and ownership so that you can think critically about the news you read. So for an article like this one, on Ground News you can see that this story has been covered by almost 30 sources with the majority coming from centre-leaning outlets. Ground News shows you every article about this topic and you can compare headlines. Next to every headline we can see the context like who owns the source, how reliable it is and if they have a political bias. Ground News makes it easier to navigate our complex media environment and it also combats political polarization and helps find common ground, developing a well-rounded worldview. Please check them out. If you go to ground.news slash yarnhub, you'll get 30% off their Vantage plan, which includes unlimited access to every feature. Or you can try their Pro plan for less than $1 a month. It keeps weaving and turning as the pair of zeros swarm all around them. The Americans evade for their lives. The G-force is so severe that the rear gunner has no chance to fire, constantly getting thrown left and right inside the aircraft. The two enemies somehow attack from every direction, their great speed and maneuverability making them feel like they're everywhere. Up, down, left, right, attacks coming from everywhere at a relentless pace. Vatasa escapes from every single one. The crazy gamble is working. The Dauntless might be heavy and roll slowly, but it pulls like a beast. The Zero's lightness that makes it so nimble now works against them. Vatasa knows he's on borrowed time. The enemy fire zips by and comfortably close. The sonic booms of the 20mm rounds announcing the danger. Sweet, we're hit! Take you us, Tada. Come on, Frank! I can't aim! He's too low! The Japanese are growing frustrated. This bomber should have been done for ages ago. One of the Zeros charges the bomber and once again misses. The American slithering out of his crosshairs at the last second yet again. Impatient, he doesn't bother making distance and immediately turns back around for another run. Beta sir spots the opportunity. He swiftly pulls the aircraft towards his target and opens fire, catching the Zero unaware. The bullets punch clean through the enemy's thin fuselage and the Zero goes down in smoke and flame. There's a glimmer of hope. Just one enemy remains, but he's not likely to make the same mistake. He's coming in from behind! Frank. Vetasa pulls hard in evasive maneuvers, but unlike every time before, the Zero doesn't roar past. He looks over his shoulder and sees the Zero hounding his tail. The enemy pilot has given up on lightning attacks and is trying to match his low speed. Vetasa keeps turning hard, far beyond what the Zero can match, exerting himself and the aircraft to its limits. But the enemy hounds him and the Dauntless drifts right into his crosshairs. But the Zero doesn't shoot. The dance continues, the Zero getting closer, but inexplicably, he refuses to fire. Why doesn't he shoot? Then Vetasa is hit with the realization. Looks like he's out of ammo and trying to ram us. He punches the throttle to fall and tries to race away from the determined enemy. But the faster Zero catches up with him with ease, getting right up to the American's tail. And then, the Zero opens fire. Faster! That was a trick. The Zero unleashes its firepower straight into Vetus's wings and tail. He looks back, wondering why his gunner isn't opening fire. Frank, are you okay? And sees him slouched over, passed out from the G-forces. Vetus immediately breaks right and re-engages the air brakes, desperately trying to make the Zero overshoot. But the Japanese pilot sees it coming. He cuts the throttle as his Zero comes uncomfortably close to the American. Without air brakes, he almost overshoots, resorting to left and right maneuvers to help lead more speed and starting a scissor. Vetasa also enters the scissor, both to evade his enemy's crosshairs and in a desperate attempt to make the Zero overshoot. Neither succeed. They're stuck flying side by side, locked in an aerial ballet. They turn towards each other, dodging the other's line of fire. The two machines roar past, dangerously close. Vetasa almost being able to see the Japanese pilot's face. 
they crisscross repeatedly in the sky, each time getting closer and closer. The stick is ripped from Vetus's hands, and pieces of aircraft fling off into the air. For a split second, Vetus believes he's done for, but he instinctively gets hold of the stick and incredibly discovers that his aircraft can still fly. Oh my god. Sweet, you did it! Then he looks down and is surprised to see the Zero diving away with a trail of smoke. Did we win? I can't believe we survived it! He looks around and finds nothing, that the skies are clear. Somehow, through incredible luck, knowledge and raw skill, he and his gunner have defeated impossible odds. Lieutenant Stanley Winfield Vetusser would receive his second Navy Cross for his actions. The event was so unbelievable, his superiors decided to offer to move him to a fighter aircraft, an opportunity that Vetusser gladly accepted. <laughs> 